Hello there, friends and followers, and welcome to this P3D video. Today we are Air New Zealand Flight 606 service from Queenstown to Wellington International Airport. Our approximate flight time today is 1 hour and 24 minutes, and we're going to be cruising at 37,000 feet. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to head over here to the overhead panel, and we're going to turn on our battery. And then we're going to head over to the FMC and go to FS Actions Fuel. Uh, we need uh, 13,700 pounds of fuel today for this flight. And uh, we can go to, re actually, we'll go to payload and we'll enter the um, zero fuel, which is 118.6. 118.6 and we'll put that here okay we are almost uh, fully loaded for this flight uh, we're going to go to return uh, ground services and we're going to connect the ground power unit all right so we have the ground power unit now and we can turn it on and we can now turn the adheres to nav mode and just coming down here, we'll leave the oil damper alone for um, for the moment. And we'll come down here. All looks good this way. All looks good here. Emergency lights are armed. Uh, Non-smoking and seat belt signs are on. And moving down here, window heat can go on. And let's see here. Hydraulics. We're going to turn those on as well. And we're going to set the packs to high at the moment and the isolation valve is open and everything else looks good we're going to set the altitude to 37,000 feet which is our final cruise altitude today and now we can start programming the FMC all right let's head over here and actually let me pop this up that's easier to uh, visualize what's going on here and return we're going to go to the FMC uh, we're flying today the Boeing 737-700, so the model is correct. The uh, latest Iraq database is uh, 1910, which is active. And we're going to go to position initialization. We are at November, Zulu, Quebec, November. And we're going to grab our GPS position and stick it in right here. All right, we're going to go to the route. I have the uh, flight plan uh, loaded from Simbrief. So we're just going to say uh, the destination, which is November, Zulu Whiskey November, and stick that here, activate and execute. We are Air New Zealand. Flight 606 today. And we're going to put that over here. Okay, we can go to the departure now, and we're going to be departing today runway 05 through the FD3 Papa uh, departure through the Timjo transition. And we can say execute and go back to the index and select our arrival into Wellington, which is going to be through the, I believe, the War to Bravo. I'm not sure if it's Bravo or Charlie, so I'm going to check the flight plan here real quick. It is the Bravo, War 2 Bravo, and we are going to be doing an ILS runway 16. There's no transition altitude. Let's go to the routes page and let's check uh, to make sure that there are no discontinuities, which there aren't. So we are good. We can go to the init uh, performance initialization and enter our zero fuel. Reserves uh, 3,000, cost index is 5, cruise altitude is 37,000 feet, and we can grab our wind uh, very quickly, 227.29, 227.29, and that is now set. Uh, the, oh, okay, we'll leave that alone then. Uh, transition altitude is 13,000 feet in New Zealand, so that is now set. 
Takeoff, um, actually, I'm going to leave it. We're not going to derate. It's derated already, so we don't, uh, we're quite heavy uh, on departure, and the runway isn't that long, so we're just going to leave things alone here. We're going to set the flaps to flaps 5, and the center of gravity is 24.3%. That gives us a final trim of 5.25. We're going to set our speeds, and now we have uh, our speeds here set let's set our trim to 5.25 units that's about right and we're going to turn on the flight directors and set the v-speed to 135 which is v2 135 there we go altitude is set to 37,000 feet, which is our final cruise altitude for this flight today. And that is now set as well. Okay. Everything is looking good. We're going to go ahead and start the APU now. And for that, we need fuel pump and APU start. And we're just now going to wait for the APU to become available. We're going to see the pressure rising here, uh, the EGT pressure rising momentarily. And then we'll be able to uh, turn on the APU once it becomes available. There we go. All right, we'll set this back to the legs page. And we are going to put it back here. Let's adjust our range a bit. And set our altimeter. Altimeter is 1007. All right, APU is available. I'm going to start the APU. APU bleed is already on. Everything looks good there. Okay, we're going to set the parking brake. And we're going to head over to the ground services here. And we can now remove the ground power unit and remove the chocks. And we're going to turn on our anti-collision light and we're going to push out of our position momentarily everything is looking good let's do the final check here make sure everything is okay before we call the pushback truck we need to close our doors so let's close the door and let's make sure the cargo doors are closed which they are and everything else looks good to me all right we're going to return and reset this to climb all right, and we're going to set the weather on the pilot side and the terrain on the first officer side. Okay, looking good. And we are ready now for pushback and start. We're going to turn on our fuel pumps. And we're going to call the pushback truck via the FMC here. Um, let's see here. Menu. FS actions, push back, and, and start. Uh, ground, cockpit. All right, Captain. We're all set to go up here. We've been cleared to push and start at your discretion. Pardon me, ready for push. Power and air are clear, doors closed. We are ready for push back. Please, parking brake, please. All right, let's release the parking brake. Okay, parking brake is off. Clear to push. All right, pushback started. We're going to start with the engine number two. And for that, we need to kill the packs. All right. Engine number two is now spooling. All right, and let's give it some fuel. All right, we have a good start on both engines now. We're going to set the gens. Engine mode selectors to continuous. Uh, we're going to turn on the yaw damper and probe heat. And packs to auto, isolation valve to auto. APU bleed can go off. And the APU can go off. We are going to turn on our runway turn off lights as well as taxi lights. 
And we are now ready to taxi to the runway. Everything's looking good. Flaps 5 for departure. And auto brake to reject a takeoff. Okay. Full up. Full down. Full left. Full right. Pedal full left. Full right. And we're good to go. Parking brake is released. And let's head over to the runway. at the range here. There we go. All right, folks, we are on our way to runway 05 for departure. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the auto throttle landing lights and we can kill the taxi lights now and turn on the wing and wheel lights as well as the strobe. And everything is looking good. We're going to make a turn here. It's a, it's going to be a sharp turn to align with the runway. And let me set the field of view here properly. There we go. TCAS has been sent to TARA. All right, here we go. Alright, we are at runway 05 and we are ready to go. We'll take power to about 40%. And Toga. Positive rate of climb, gear is going up. Nice departure out of Queenstown. And of course, I'm using um, the Orbex region for New Zealand for P3D. All right, and we can lock the gear into position. Flaps one. V nav and L nav. And we continue to climb. About oh, 10 degree pitch there. All right, and flaps up. And at this point, we can engage the autopilot. Autopilot is now engaged. All right, and at this point we can turn those back to engine 
My mode selector is too off. And all is looking good. I am, by the way, using in this video uh, Rex Environment Force, and it has been recently updated uh, with some really nice visuals and uh, performance improvements. And I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I think it brings uh, a lot of new immersion features uh, to the visuals in P3D. 10,000 feet, we can kill our landing lights now and runway turnoff lights as well as the wing and wheel lights. We can increase our range here a bit. Yeah, that's much better. And now we are, uh, as you can see, uh, in climbing to the FMC speed and our cruise altitude of 37,000 feet. Alright folks, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the climb now to 37,000 feet and I will check back with you as soon as we level off. Enjoy the flight. Welcome back folks, we are approximately 27 nautical miles from the top of descent point. At this point we're going to configure our aircraft for the approach into Wellington. Uh, we're going to bring up the FMC and head over to the approach reference. And we're going to note the ILS frequency which is 110.3 and the approach course is 161. So we're going to set the ILS frequency here, 110 decimal 3 we're going to set it to the active and we're going to do the same thing on the first officer side 110 decimal 3 and set it to the active and we're going to set the approach reference to I beg your pardon the approach course to 161 degrees 161 and 161 There we go. Uh, and we're going to also set our flaps. So flaps 30 and we're going to add 5 knots to the uh, BREF that gives us 138 knots for our approach. So flaps 30 and 138 knots for the approach speed. And we're going to go ahead and um, reset the MCP altitude uh, now to uh, 3,000 feet, which is our platform altitude. Three thousand feet is set. We are now fully configured for our approach. We're going to set auto brake to two, and we are now good. We are approximately 10 nautical miles now from the top of descent point. And we should begin the automatic descent now. As you can see, the aircraft has begun the automatic descent at the top of descent point. And uh, we're going to continue the descent now until we reach our platform altitude of 3,000 feet. We have just passed uh, 10,000 feet. We're going to go ahead and turn on our landing lights and runway turnoff lights, taxi lights, and all the lights. Yeah, all is looking good. And uh, we continue our descent now. Uh, we are uh, pretty close, and we're going to make the right turn here and intercept the localizer uh, for runway 16 here at uh, Wellington. Right, we can uh, perhaps reduce, uh, let's take a look here, uh, we're still fine, uh, we might need to extend the speed brakes uh, just a notch to uh, maintain, yeah, we're going to go ahead and go to 220 knots now, and I'm going to extend the speed brake to help us reduce our speed quicker. We're looking good, um, altitude, speed, um, everything is... Uh, is okay and uh, let's see here 
Yeah, we should be just fine. Uh, we need to be below 6,000 feet to head this way a point, so we're just a tad high. Uh, but we should be able to correct that part before we intercept the localizer. Rate of descent is 1,800 feet per minute. All right, at this point, as you can see, we are reaching 5,000. Uh, we need to be above 3,000, that's the next restriction. Uh, we're doing fine in terms of altitude, so I'm going to go ahead and reduce our rate of descent to 1,500 feet per minute. And that should help us also reduce our speed quicker. And momentarily, uh, we are going to start reducing our speed to 190 knots. We are still looking good for the approach. That's our turn. I'm going to reduce the range here so we have better, better uh, situational awareness uh, as we come into land. All right, and at this point, I'm going to start reducing our speed to 190 knots. There we go, 190. And we are almost at our platform altitude of 3,000 feet. All right, I'm gonna now arm the speed brake. And we are still looking pretty good. There is our turn, we should begin now, yep. And we are now at our platform altitude of 3,000 feet. There we go. Speed is reducing. We're looking good. We are at 3,000 feet. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and go to flaps 1. And reduce our speed to 180 knots. Okay, flaps 1, 180 knots. As you can see, the needle is showing now here. So we're going to hit the approach button. Approach. And we're going to start decelerating momentarily to 160 knots. All right, so we're going to go to flaps 5 and 160 knots there we go we have now intercepted the localizer autopilot command 2 is enabled And the runway is right ahead of us now. Really beautiful approach into Wellington International. And we're going to watch the needle here. All right, and at this point we can extend the landing gear. Gear is going down. And we're going to reduce our speed to 150 knots. And we're going to go to flaps 15. We're looking good now. All right, and at this point, we're going to extend flaps. Flaps 25. And speed to 141 knots. And 
and let's take a quick note of our approach speed which is 138 knots today so we're gonna go to our reference speed or approach speed and flaps 30 all is looking good now and uh, we are looking good for uh, our approach and landing now at uh, Wellington International Airport and we will be taking over momentarily as soon as we are about 1,000 feet from the touch zone, touchdown zone and uh, then we'll take over I'm going to adjust the throttle here 1,000 1,000 feet to go and we are going to go ahead and take over now so all right here we go let's take over and my airplane and we're going to kill the auto throttle as well A bit too low. Wide slow. Wide slow. Wide slow. Wide slow. Twenty. Ten. All right, and touchdown. Reversers are out. Okay. Manual braking. And welcome to Wellington International Airport. We're going to make a turn here through Alpha Niner. All right, and here's what we're going to do we're going to bring the aircraft to a complete stop here, and we're going to take a look at our landing. Our landing was a pretty okay landing uh, today here at uh, Wellington. I'm going to go ahead and retract the flaps now. And we're going to head over to the gates area and uh, park the aircraft. I really like flying uh, the PMDG uh, 737 in prepared, but uh, to be completely honest with you guys, I still prefer uh, the Zebo over the... Uh, um, over the PMDG 737. Uh, nonetheless, uh, it really is a nice um, aircraft to fly and, and P3D is quite fun. It's quite immersive as well. Uh, so here we're gonna um, head to gate number 22 and stop the aircraft there. Well, folks, it was really fun. Uh, doing this flight from uh, Queenstown to Wellington in New Zealand aboard the PMDG 737. I hope that you guys 
have enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.